do you remember where you were on the night of not? <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay. That's gonna be fresh. <laughs> Sorry, all right. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty silly sometimes. Okay, well, now we'll be That's very beautiful. Serious, yeah. serious I, I, stay the same. Really grateful for that. Okay. Stay, seriously. Stay, stay silly. Please. Stay silly, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, more Refreshing. serious question though, but um, how did this film find the two of you? Um, in a very classical way, uh, through my agent, casting director, uh, they contacted my agent. I got the script, I read it, I met Robin at a cafe, we talked. And then we started to audition for the film, and that's where when I met uh, Arnold. Was that the question? Yeah, that yeah, was a question. Perfect, yeah. That was <laughs> very good answer. Yes, I'm sorry. Maybe answer, it was a bit like because there's nothing extraordinary, so I prefer that we talk maybe further about other things because it was very classical. Oh sure, like sure. agent script, then you read it, then you meet the director. The nothing really like. Nothing I wish I could say like, well, I found Robin all drunk in the streets, and then he was like, ah, well, no, it was nothing like, like that. that. Nothing okay. like that, unfortunately. Or no, I believe you have a different yeah, story. Yeah, different way. A yeah, yeah, a special one. Um, yeah, I was a masseuse uh, when I get the call uh, from the casting director. I used to work with like 10 years ago. And she said to me over the phone, uh, are you still an actor? I said, nope. Uh, do you want to try an audition for me? Do you want to have an audition for me? I said, no, not at all. I'm not an actor, so why? And she said, okay, listen, the script is really interesting. It's about AIDS in the 19s in Paris, gay community, um, the political aspect and everything. And I said, for a movie like that, why not give a try? Yeah. And get maybe eventually get back to the business. So many questions with that one. Um, you had been auditioning. You were, you were in Paris before. You were auditioning and then you decided to move and become a masseuse? I was an actor doing films in Paris for about five or six years and um, it didn't went exactly the way I was expecting, um, waiting for calls, having parts but very small one, uh, getting audition but at the very end, no it's not you, you're the second, you're the third. And before being really angry or depressed or, or anything like that, I said, okay, you're 25, 26, you can do something out of your life, you can realize yourself in another way. Let's find out what, but let's do it. So I did several jobs in Paris and then I went to Thailand, uh, Thailand and uh, to Bangkok first and uh, Island Thai massage there at the beginning just not to have fun, but to have an experience. And it became serious and I liked it. And uh, after two months of uh, training sessions, uh, I went back to Paris with my diploma. And uh, one month after, I got the call from the casting director. Fascinating. That's great. When you decide to do something else, you know, the past comes and just grabs you. You have to, like, I think sometimes when you want too much something, you're not attractive. Uh, you so you have to see around what can, in, what can fill you with something else. Yeah. Right, and have a different energy around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and open to other things. Because when you're an actor, sometimes it's quite easy to stay or to get focus on yourself and that's it and it's really important to see other things maybe other countries other people culture um, just to be aware that it's not all about movies or theater or that kind of stuff there is life and um, you can experience something else as well it's not um, maybe uh, the only thing you can do and that kind of thing, I guess. But it's my own experience. I, um, I'm not like giving lessons, it's just telling my story.